0.04. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, boys and girls. Hi there. This is your old pal, Uncle Al, <coughs> aka Die Bullfrog79. Hi, kids. Rick Dino, I'm right here. Okay. Uh, this is Crockpot Tuesday, not the uh, uh, Crackpot Tuesday, because Crackpot didn't sound cool and Hubble's cat was confused. Was it Crockpot? Was it Crackpot? So I'm going with Crockpot because everybody's doing Crockpot theories and stuff like that. Now, uh, if you remember, of course, uh, Corsair trainers were asking about uh, what was going on the 20th. Well, Afra and their buddies did cause a little panic, but not as expected as before. <coughs> yeah, we had a bunch of people getting shot, even on bicycle. I can't figure that one out, but I do my research and I check out things. On the internet, on YouTube, news media, um, police channels, whatever I get my hand, the information I get my hands on. I'm a pretty good researcher. Anyway, so far since the first of the year, we had about 47 to 50 deaths of officers going on patrol or on line of duty. <coughs> Many of them are in. Um, red states with blue areas or blue areas that are near college campuses, suspected college campuses. Unfortunately, the FBI is doing a very lousy job. Uh, what do you expect from a bunch of accountants and lawyers and politicians? No longer law enforcement, but a bunch of yes boys, no boys, shake the head boys. They're not doing anything. Now, only thing I could hear of is some place in the Midwest where Will Russell is, uh, just in time prepping. There's a group of wackos that are thinking of attacking either a military base or Indian reservation. I have no idea why. Okay. Uh, most extremist groups, either on the left or the right, for young men between the ages of 18 to about 35. And really, folks, these are nuts. Now, what's scary is over in Mexico and Canada, certain groups are picking up a lot of weaponry. Uh, also, a lot of those countries, Canada and also California, are doing like Oregon. Oregon's passing same thing as California, a limit to 20 rounds. Also, five five round capaci capacity. Um, same thing with Washington. They're all going nuts, folks, because they're afraid they're going to lose power. And right now, a lot of the police areas and the blue states are starting to militarize really quick. <clears throat> I just saw a big shipment of armor cards heading to Oregon. That's where uh, Reverend Christine is. I would keep an eye out, see some new stuff coming out. Now, also I've been hearing it through the grapevine because I have friends in the arms market a lot of ammunition is transferred to a lot of blue states. A lot of 50 cals, a lot of 223s, 455 5.6, a lot of 9 millimeters, a lot of freeze dried foods. Um, so, a lot of little state departments, which I don't understand why in the hell the Forest Service needs 223 ammo and 9 millimeters. Got me on that. <clears throat> I guess Smokey the Bear is now fighting terrorists. Uh, also, the weird part is a lot of things that I check out on my supply lines, like MREs and freeze dried foods and heater bags, are getting kind of scarce. Not 
this is not fear porn. This is just what I'm looking around. The biggest thing is anywhere from 47 to 50 law enforcement agents have been killed. That's the scary part. Also, all these regular folk anti-gun things, we're going to stop the violence and make everybody publicly safe. It's like having a public venereal disease. Now, Hubble's cat say, public safety is good for you. No, it isn't. There's always something cooking up in the background. And when I hear public safety, it's like, please bend over. We're checking for bombs. And I'm looking, okay, but this is the third time this week. And I just want to pick up a package. You might be smuggling ammo or explosives. That's food. I'm hungry. You know, it gets a little insane at times, folks. And meanwhile, a lot of colleges in the United States, please do not donate money to a suspected college. You can do better by donating large sums to your local church, your local schools that doesn't have a weird agenda, private schools, or you can do it better. Just find a certain group that's helping out your local community. Remember, local, not national, not state, local. Now, the NRA, I know a lifelong member, but the NRA has been doing something weird. I think they sold out. I got it from Lou Russell. So you might want to go to one of the smaller state uh, gun ownership groups. Like in California, we have one. Nebraska has one. Gun Owners of America is pretty good. So anyway, <coughs> I'm keeping this short because I got doctor's appointment tomorrow. But I got pain and I'm coughing up. So I got to check my left thigh. My eye right here. It did clear up a bit. I don't have pus or goo coming out of it. But I might have to get another round of surgeries, which is not fun. Uncle Alan's old and damaged like hell. But I keep an eye on things. So, like I said, something's going on. And something's going on. It's like, I asked one of my ammo buyers in northeast east of America. And he said, yeah, it's, a lot of Democrats are trying to dry up the ammo supply. But he, he says it's fun because he got a big order from Canada, Toronto, Ontario, the Royal Canadian Mountains have bought a lot of ammo. Nine millimeter, uh, 223, 308. And he said this is better than the federal government because he never saw an order that big by the Mounties and the CBI, the Canadian Bureau of Investigation. I'm wondering what the hell is the Canadians doing with that much ammo? Even I can't shoot that much. And also, it's like, who's what war are they going to go with? You know, who are they fighting? Are, I know they have troops overseas, but gee, that, that's enough to uh, stomp out China. Who knows? Anyway, boys and girls, I'm going to keep this short. Uh, big thanks to Myra C.K., uh, Mother in the Wild. I can't believe someone gave you four dislikes. I did that donut video and they give you a dislike. I can't figure that one out. Um, yeah, I think they're trolls. Because I did double check and they came from mobile devices. Normally I get two dislikes and that's from regular laptops or computers or tablets. But mobile phones, you get a lot of trolls in their basement. Turn it off, go to bed, and stop screwing around. It's probably some 13-year-old kid or a friend of Lily in the wild. I have no idea. I'm getting old and tired and, and trying to do things, nice things. I have a box of knives I'm trying to give away, but I don't have money to spend on like mail, shipping these things out. It's really hard for me because I have expended my medication. Also, I have to pay this medical debt. I still owe about 
three th roughly three thousand dollars on it. Uh, a lot worse about four years ago when they said you had a stroke and your insurance is no longer working. Wasn't too happy with Obama. So it's like I'm fine. Second stroke, got insurance. Found out I didn't have insurance. The company dissolved. So I'm really mad about that. Another reason why I hate the Democrats. Don't hate Will Russell. He does a good job. I hope I see you tomorrow for uh, story time. I think I will do story time on Tuesdays. Yeah, well, I hope I see you there. And don't forget Wednesdays, I think, in the morning. I'm not too clear. Ask Will about that. He has a coffee time with Will. Bring you coffee. Come by. Say hello. I'm not going to do too many shout outs and do one for my friend Jordan Jakenberg. Good luck. Uh, in Sweden, you can drop off him a little PayPal, or you can drop me off a little PayPal, about the same price of a cup of coffee. You could drop me a little donation down below. Like I said, just be careful, kids. It's getting weird and hairy. And for all you people who are digging out the snow, well, like I said, nobody ever listens to Uncle Alan. And nobody ever listens like you shouldn't be flying right now. Planes keep crashing. So anyway, you have a nice night, folks. This is an early crack, crock pot Tuesday. i got to stop saying crack pot because everybody will be freaking out. So anyway, my friends in Canada enjoy the cold. I would like to hear about the grinder uh, hovels if you have time. Uh, the meal looks good. The video looks good. Uh, this is why I always tell people to stock up for a long-term uh, food storage or short-term food storage. If you want to learn about short-term food storage, please check out Coursera trainers' videos. They're really good. I like Steve, and he's a Southern California boy, so you can't go wrong. So I'll catch you later, folks. You have a nice night. This is your old pal, Uncle Al, a.k.a. Die Bull for Al's Thursday Night. Hit the like and subscribe down below. Yeah, night, folks. Just talking between us, and I'll catch you later. And I'll see you later, Bethany. You have some nice sleep, and... Try something else in James. You have a beautiful voice. You're smart. You're intelligent. I've seen your pages. I think I've seen Instagram and something else, but I can't remember. Uncle Alan has short term memory sometimes and bleh, he screws up his head. So I'll catch you later, folks. I think I said this before. But anyway, you have a nice night. Bye.